Today I was shot once in my left arm and once in my right arm. I was vaccinated. <laughs> Buying another screen to put in the window like a pre-screen so the cat doesn't knock the real screen out. Like he did this morning and I repaired it. And this piece of wood was in a, like a throwaway pile that they had. They have lumber that they mark with purple paint, which means it's 70% off. But they had this in a tr like in a pile of crap. And I asked the guy, and he, just, he said I could have it. To Walgreens, and I got my booster shot for the Omicron variant and a flu shot. So, three hours after the shot, the left arm's starting to hurt a bit. I didn't feel the needle at all, it was like hair thin. The right, I felt the needle go in. I don't know, the ladies made, made faces, and she said, Do you have much planned this weekend? I said, Nope. <laughs> I know better. I know I'll probably feel crappy later. Yeah. Get a couple things and then I head on home. Can't tell for all the mess, but I just got back from a long journey. Groceries, some frozen, need to be put away right away. And my tastefully simple stuff came. I already gave, I ordered two of the cakes and I gave one to Ashley already. And chili cha cha chili lime. Seasoning. I've got to open this and smell it right now. Mm. Smells good. Mmm. That's yummy. I'm glad that I got it. And I will tell everyone that they can get some too through my friend Sue. I'm a poet and was unaware. <laughs> That's what John Lovell always says. I was a poet and unaware. Not didn't know it because he wanted to be different. So this box here is going to be made into a little. I'm going to put a zipper around the the top flap around there. It's going to be the uh, the newer tongue drum case. Got a little bit, then a little bit of that, and some a new container for pink lemonade, and a larger one for tea, so I can have those in the fridge at all times. And didn't get too much. Got my rye bread though, hot ziggity hoo ha. Got my German home bakery rye bread, restaurant style rye bread. Oh my God, look at that. Oh my God, I can't wait to. Put some butter on there. Oh man. I requested one of those Medicare book things. So now I admit I'm old and all that good stuff, and I have to call them and try to figure out what the heck is my life about right now and all that. Ooh. Kitty Cat, are you glad to see me? He says, Well, you open the, the food, don't you? Yeah, I do. That band-aid came off. This arm had the Omicron variant of the COVID booster thing, and this arm has a flu shot. Now my my booster arm is a little sore, and I told Ashley, and I showed the baby, I have a band-aid too. <laughs> he went to the doctor, he's 24.7 pounds. I knew he was that heavy, I knew it. He has a very large circumference head. I said that's because of his big brain. And he's in the 68 percentile of weight. I said, well, he's not fat. He's doing good. He's doing well. And he's just, he's eating. And he was looking at me like, hmm. Huh? And I showed him my Band-Aid. Uh, first of all, this morning... I went to Dollar General, got some hair dye and some acetaminophen, and then I went over to Walgreens to get my shot. And the lady says, "Where's your card?" And I, oh, and then my wallet. I looked in my wallet; it wasn't there. And I'm thinking, "Oh crap!" I took it out when I made the appointment to look at it. 
she said, well, well, you know, you'll still have an appointment today. Just go home and get it and come back. So I did. Took about 15 minutes altogether to go home, get it, come back. And I waited just a little bit and got the shot and the booster. Then I went down to Home Depot, which is near Walmart and all those places. Went to Home Depot and I was looking for a screen to put in the window. I have one for this window that's all fixed, but I the front window he knocked the real screen out the other day. He got upset about something flying around out there, I guess. I don't know. So I'm going to fix that. So both windows will be protected from Mr. Mighty Mouse, Mighty Cat, Goofball. From Mr. Goofball. Are you Mr. Goofball? Uh, I looked in big lots because they have furniture just to see if there's anything that's comfortable, what they measure, and what they have. Nah, nothing for me. Went to Walmart, got some things that I needed. I'm going to be making a bunch of food for the week, probably today. It's 5.30 already. <sighs> I'm kind of tired. But as long as I feel like doing something, do it, right? You'll learn that as you get older. If you feel up to doing it, do it because you might not feel up to doing it later. You know, like when I was a kid, we'd say, oh, are we going to go see Aunt Mary? Oh, uh, she's not having a good day. And I'm thinking, huh? I didn't understand. Sometimes you're like really tired and sometimes you're just fine. Like when you're old, it's kind of like when you're a little baby, only you're worn out instead of beginning everything. <laughs> and you drool, too, <laughs> when you sleep. Um, hmm. Kitty cat probably will be in my way when I'm making the... I got some more chicken for chicken salad. I discovered the chicken salad in half of a pita. Or you take a pita and cut it in half, and you have like two halves of a sandwich of pita. Of chicken salad oh man that's the best that's the best what else did I get uh, uh, uh. I got a couple things I'd never had before uh, frozen food wise and I got some chocolate covered vanilla ice cream are they Dove bars or haagen -Dazs, I think I think it's haagen -Dazs. Uh, got a little salad mix which I rarely eat salad unless I'm out had a dinner the worst salads included in whatever you ordered so I'll have to eat that and be healthy what else did I get I got a cheap vinyl ta tablecloth like they were all the same price they were all $3.98 at Walmart so I got the biggest one I could and what I'm going to use it for I might use it for the top of something you know keep dust off of it part of it and then part of it is going to be used as when I'm painting or something under me so that it, I don't drop it on the floor or whatever the paint. Kitty Cat's playing with the little airbag it came with the tastefully simple stuff. I'll put Sue's link down below. If you like good food and good cake mixes and they have cheese ball mixes and they have all you need to do is add one thing to the, their ingredients and all that it's a great company you'll love the way it tastes and you'll love soup I'll leave her link down below uh, again as usual I'm prattling on and on and on and on kitty don't you inhale that don't eat that I can't oh you little booger head mmm <laughs> I can still taste the lime part of it mmm yeah they had tequila tasting at Walmart they had mango, lemon lime, and what was the other flavor? Berry or something. And then straight tequila. 1800 brand was the brand. And I thought, oh, I know what a margarita tastes like. I'll try the plain stuff. She says you can only have one sample. So if you sip it and don't like it, you can't have a different kind. You can't. Only one. I said, okay. So I sipped the plain 1800 tequila. It was smooth, no burning. But I didn't like the taste. I just didn't like it. 
another guy came up behind me and he wanted to taste one too and I was going to ask him if he get you know if he got the margarita can we switch cups or can can I taste some of it but he got the straight tequila as well and he downed it real quick he, he goes Nostrovia and he downs it and he says ah I buy this all the time because I know what it tastes like eh, you know whatever and I said do you speak Russian and he says no I only know how to toast in it and I said well, okay well I'll tell you how to say hi what's up Zrazwi Kaktala then he says, how's that said? And I spelled it, and I said it slowly, and he repeated it. I don't know if he'll remember it. He probably won't. But now he can be impressive of, of the other hill, hillbillies he hangs out with. <laughs> no offense, man. Everybody that goes to Walmart's got a little something wrong, right? I'm only kidding. Or am I? Oh... My joints are hurting. Owie, owie, owie. Maybe that's part of the inoculation. I better get the uh, refrigerated stuff away and pick out something for dinner. Oh, I have something left over for dinner. But I got some kind of little container of already made up shrimp fried rice. And I got a P.F. Chang's beef and broccoli. They'll just have to be eaten some other time. And I also got, what did I get? Was that it? I think that was it in the pre-made food. I got some Bomb Pops and some of the haagen ice cream bars. I got some cat food for this weenie butt. Say hi to your friends. You say hi to your friends? Huh? You gonna say hi to them? Hey, what you doing? Well, it's warm outside. It's supposed to be a little cooler in the next few days. So it's going to be like beautiful weather and open the windows at night, that kind of thing. I slept really well last night. Since I've had the body pillow down at my side, like someone's there, and just the little thin thing at my head so I don't bash my head into the bars, um, I've been able to sleep better. Maybe I need that comfort of someone being there. When Bear used to spend the night, he'd say I'd snore. He goes, but thank God your butt's there. And I said, what? He said, I just punch you in the butt and you stop snoring. <laughs> I said, just, if I start moving around a whole lot, I'm probably dreaming of doing work or something. I said, just put your arm over me and hold me down. Like, you're, you're not going anywhere type of thing. And he did once, and I, I went right back to sleep. I was thinking about him today because there were a couple songs that came on the intercom that he used to like. You know, like kind of songs that come on at shopping and stores and stuff. So, I don't know. Veil is very thin. It's going to be thinner in another 30 days. Oh, a month from now. The veil will be quite thin. So, beware. Be kind. I love you guys. Upward and onward.